Watching video time is what time it is. Where you at? Where you at? Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. <laughs> All right. Well, yesterday I did the 15 facts I didn't know about India. And in one of them, it talked about one of the most expensive houses, like anywhere. Then someone told me there's a video that I can react to of this house. It's in, in Antilla, the world's most expensive and biggest house. And it's like a skyscraper of a house. I was like, oh yeah, I am reacting to this. I gotta check out this house. So y'all ready to do this? Have you subscribed? I'm watching you, I'm watching you, you subscribed? Follow me on my Instagrams, what is it? Geekly Amanda, G-E-K-L-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. So y'all ready to get this started? I'm excited. Go! I'm excited to see this house. <laughs> Spilling the secrets of Mukesh Ambani's abode Antilia. So that's it, abode Living Antilia. in the most expensive of areas in a never-ending mansion. He got a bar. All the amenities he had a barber shop. Surrounded by staff running to cater to each of our whim. Wake up. The bubble of your impeccable imagination just burst. Welcome back to the reality. That's not your home, but <laughs> such a place actually exists. Don't believe us? Allow us to guide you towards a peep into Antilia. I can't the wait. The mesmerizing abode Look of the that. richest man of India. Number 10. The only home. Mukesh Ambani's family initially shared a house with Mukesh's mother and brother's family and only moved out after the construction of Antilia was complete. Okay, well, then but that's not the catch here. You wouldn't expect the richest man of the nation to own just a single house. That's not how the rich function, right? But Mukesh Ambani stands apart from the crowd of the rich because he owns just one house, and with all that he has, he doesn't even need another one. <laughs> Number 9. Distinct Designing The woman of the house, Nita Ambani, had planned a 27-story luxury haven with each of the floors designed distinctly. Australian company Layton Holdings made that dream come true. Not surprising, after all, if the dreams of the richest don't come true, whose else will? So all the floors have a unique design, keeping sun and lotus motifs the highlight of the mansion, and this variety was brought about using materials like mother of pearl, crystal, marble, wood, and other expensive materials. That house is surely a piece of art. Oh yeah it is. Oh, Number yeah, 8. Is. Extra Heights. This oh, mansion yeah. is giving us residential stories. goals already, but I wait till you know about the heights. Each floor of the mansion is equal to the height of a two-story building. Did you get the hint? The mansion could actually hold close to 60 floors with its current height. It's Can we say seven. that the Ambani's have some high standards? Like, really high. <laughs> Number seven, comfort traveling. Okay. The dream home oozes luxury in every respect, and traveling across the city, or for that matter, the world comes easy to the dwellers. The mansion has dedicated six floors to car parking, six which floors. can accommodate 168 cars at a time, six. and a whole Look floor is those. turned into a car servicing station. He has all the space for this lavish hobby in his 400,000 square foot palace. What's more, the house has three helipads in case you want to escape from the helicopters and can see how travel more comfy. Number six, affluent neighborhood. Before the construction of this magnificent home began, rumors of it to be built in Mumbai slums were doing the rounds. Oh. That would have depicted the striking contrast in the two extreme Indian scenarios. But, well, these rumors came to an end once the construction began at Altamount Road of Mumbai, the place where the richest of the richest have their dwellings. Should we say location matters? Look at that. Number five, luxury amenities. This extravagant dwelling of the Ambani family can easily put leading luxury hotels to shame. What? Don't be shocked. It is perfectly normal for a rich Indian to have multiple swimming pools, a gym, and jacuzzi in his home. But when you talk about the richest, health spas, salon, separate That's yoga and dance of... studios, in addition to a 50-seat home theater, make it to the list without a question. Not very shocking, is it? I Number four, like that the house. extra step. The Ambanis took their luxury requirements a notch higher when they planned for a ballroom in the mansion. Which man cannot survive without a ballroom in his <laughs> dwelling that has its roof covered with 80% crystal chandeliers? Look at that, that is beautiful. Then there is a snow room, which is a must to beat the Mumbai heat. So the owners and guests what? can step into this room that will sprinkle man-made snowflakes up in this and give you the feeling of being cool <laughs> and filthy rich. Number three, unbeatable hospitality. 
You can't expect the most marvelous of the households well, to like an hospitality, a do you? The guests are well looked after, and that kind of goes without saying, so why did we even point it out? The mansion houses an entourage room that oh. caters to the relaxation of the bodyguards and assistants oh. of the big daddies that come to visit the, the big daddies. <laughs> Number two, energy efficiency. The Ambani house might be a skyscraper, but it still hosts a garden. And it's not just any ordinary garden, mind you. The hanging garden at the floor, where huge W-shaped beams support the upper floors, has the main purpose of energy conservation. They think the they, plants this absorb even sunlight, going green. and in turn keep the interiors cool. They're even going green well, it totally up in this makes house. Sense, keeping in mind the fact that after the family moved into their new home, the first electricity bill that they paid oh. was more than 70 locks. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> best of both worlds. This elite residence was designed by an Australian company and thus has the amenities and an international style. Okay. But it also kept the feelings of the family in mind and has not lost its Indian appeal. As per Nita Ambani, Antilia is just the right blend of a modern home with Indian aesthetics and going as per the design, she's not wrong. So could we just say that the extravagant mansion provides the best of both worlds to the family of five? Which That's only five people live up in that house. Wild you the most? Family Tell of five. The comment section well, below. they got guest apartments Subscribe in it. Subscribe to our channel if you liked this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you... Yeah, I was hoping to get a tour of like each room. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted a tour of each. Like go through every every level. I want to tour each room. The bath... I, wait, I didn't see a bathroom. I want to see what the bathrooms look like. Is there a more in-depth video of this? That's amazing. And it could be 60 stories, but each floor is like d the size of two two stories. So it could be almost double that. He's got two stories just for the cars he's got. And they had a barber shop up in their salon. And then the igloo room. <sighs> I think he I think I need an invitation. I'm just putting this out there in the world. If I get an invitation, I'm going to take video for y'all of all the rooms, I promise. And especially the bathroom. Because I really want to know what the bathrooms look like. And I'm, oh, I don't go in that igloo room. Well, I like the heat. I don't like being cold. So that igloo room would take a quick little shot of that when I go get my invitation there. And I'm going to dress up for the ballroom. Oh, oh, I got plans already. I got plans. When's, when they going to write to Beyonce of Bollywood? That's what I want to know. All right, y'all, till next time. You know what to do. Comment, thumbs. I want to hear it. Bye.